Hey, thanks for joining me for another video on the Bailey Technique, uh, specifically his book, uh, How to Play the Exercises in Wrist Twisters. If you're not familiar with wrist twisters, it's a compilation of handwritten exercises that Buster gave to us, his students, to overcome specific problems that we might be having at the time. We'd go into a lesson, maybe we're having trouble with a certain orchestral excerpt, uh, he'd write out something and you know, if we, if we practiced it diligently, um, it would overcome, and the problem would be solved. You'd overcome the problem, and that would be the end of it. And that's what all these exercises are. They were originally, you know, written on a slip of paper or, you know, what, what have you. And um, what I want to talk about today is I think there's some misconceptions out there about what the Bailey technique is and, and what it isn't. Now, I've done two previous videos on this first page. And uh, the second one I did was Wrist Twisters Revisited. Uh, you might want to check that out. Um, I play the exercises extremely slowly. So you can see, and I have it in the comments, I have it written out as to what the sticking is. And I think that's uh, more helpful than when I was playing it fast in the first in the other video I did earlier. So today we're going to talk about the two uh, the two uh, techniques that you, we spent. Gosh, we spent about a year working on, um, and because they're they're so important to being able to play fast passages with with minimal effort, and they're also uh, the linchpin to being able to play all the other things in the book. So they're worth, it's well worth working on. Now the first one is the throw drop, and then we're going to talk about the drop throw. Now Buster chose to use the word, in fact the first lesson he said, take strike and hit out of your vocabulary. He liked to use the word throw and drop because it's like throwing a baseball. You know, you wind up, or any kind of ball, and you wind up and you release it, and there's no tension in your fingers, in your wrist, or your forearm, or your shoulders. Everything's relaxed, and the momentum just carries it forward. The same thing with the drumstick. You know, you, you, the drum is the only instrument in the percussion family that we get a, a, a rebound out of. Why not use that rebound to our advantage? So what this will do over time is you'll, it'll develop a sensitivity in your wrist to that rebound so you can control those rebounds minimal, with minimal effort and get tremendous velocity out of your out of the sticks. So uh, let's talk about the, the throw drop first. And always remember uh, you're holding the sticks with a uh, just a very light grip, uh, kind of like they were just lightly glued to the fingers. You don't want any bone on the stick. You want to hear that stick. Uh, uh, you want to hear the wood in the stick. Okay, throw drop sounds like this. That's the throw drop. Now, this one is the one that's going to drive you nuts. It's the drop throw. We're going to start about three inches from the drum head, and we're going to drop the stick and then throw it. So it's drop, throw, drop, throw, drop, throw, drop, throw, drop, throw. It's kind of like an upstroke. and so forth and so on. Now, um, I've already done two videos, as I said, on the, on the first five exercises on the first page. Now we're gonna look at the last one, which is in two four time. It's two bars of 16th notes with accents on each group of four sixteenths. And um, what's, what's going to happen with this exercise is we're going to double when we go to the second group of 16th notes, if we're starting with the right hand, we're going to double the left going into the second group of 16, second measure of 16th, and then double the right going back to the beginning. Now, this is, I'll play this slowly so you can get the idea of what I'm talking about.
Now, Buster always had variations, uh, maybe four, maybe sometimes five variations underneath each exercise. And um, the next variation on this is, um, oh, the next, the same thing we just did, you can start with the left hand. So it's Now the next one, we're going to, going to the second group of, in the first measure, going to the second group of sixteenths, we're going to double the left, and then we're going to double the right going to the second measure of sixteenths. So it sounds like this. Hear that? Drop throw, drop throw, drop throw, drop throw. And starting with the left. Now, a word about accents. Don't think of accents as more weight behind the stick or force. Think of just letting the stick land louder. And that way, uh, you have a lot of control over over making accents wherever you want to place them. Now, all his exercises start, um, he has specific metronome markings. They start extremely slow. In the case of this one, it starts at a quarter note equals 50 and goes up to a quarter note equals 160. So that exercise would work up to this. Second one. Okay, that's all I've got. I hope that uh, that cleared up any uh, misconceptions out there. And uh, as I said, it's well worth putting the effort in to, to learn how to do those two, those two techniques, the throw drop, the drop throw, because that's, that's the key right there. Okay, we'll catch you next time.